am enjoying this khichdi and it is super delicious and it is super rich in protein even and you are going to just love it it's a keto friendly low carb friendly perfect recipe for the diabetic people and also for the pcod problem even and you are going to just love it hello and welcome to magic in my food this is jyoti dalmia today i am preparing a keto khichdi in a pressure pan and it's super simple and super tasty so let's begin with it so let's begin by heating a pressure pan to which i'm dropping some ghee or clarified butter you can add vegan butter even and i'm going to let it heat up here i'm dropping some cumin seeds goes inside it stir it add some cloves some dried red chilies i love this a lot some asafoetida powder that gives a lovely taste to the khichdi here goes some red chili powder this you can add according to your taste some green chilies goes inside it some finely chopped ginger goes inside it and now i'm dropping the kali rice this is simply the cauliflower florets which are grated or you can chop it in a chopper even and here comes the moong bean sprouts what i love about these bean sprouts or lentil sprouts is when you soak it and when you leave it for sprouting the 1 inch you get approximately in 1 and a half days 2 inch you get it in 2 days and 3 inch you get it in 3 days and this is what i enjoy about it and i actually make it 3 inch long but now i'm using is about roughly 2 inch sprouts and when they get sprouted there then it becomes keto friendly and low carb friendly and you're going to just love it because the carb portion decreases these sprouts are very rich in vitamin c and plus their carbohydrate content also decreases this 100 grams of sprouted beans will have roughly 6 grams of carb of which 2 grams approximately is fiber so you get hold of the 4 gram carb and i'm going to use this in my khichdi so here goes the bean sprouts and i'm going to saute it this is a very simple one pot recipe here goes the turmeric powder adding some salt in it i'm sharing with you a simple khichdi keto low carb khichdi you can add vegetables of your choice to create variety here i'm dropping boiling hot water into it this increases uh, this enhances the cooking process even and plus the taste is also much better if you use boiling hot water so just stir it a bit so that everything comes together and now i am just covering it up and putting the pressure over it i am going to cook it for three whistles and after three whistles i am going to let it sit for at least 10 minutes and when the pressure is released i am going to just open the pan and lovely khichdi is done isn't it a beauty awesome let's see the consistency of it perfect if you want a mash type of khichdi then just use your masher and mash it a bit serving in a serving bowl dropping a dollop of butter over it this butter you can increase according to your portion requirement so let's taste it i am taking a bite of it and this goes inside my mouth mm. 
I don't get the taste of the cauliflower at all. It has got a perfect taste of the normal khichdi, which I loved it, you know. And this is one recipe which I am preparing at least once or twice a week, you know. And the whole family enjoys it. In fact, I sometimes fool my husband, saying this is your normal khichdi because he doesn't want to have cauliflower or anything. But sometimes I fool him by giving him this recipe, this khichdi, and he enjoys it. So why don't you go and try this lovely khichdi? More interesting, delicious, healthy recipes, keto recipes, low carb recipes, fiber rich, diabetic friendly, weight loss friendly recipes. Do follow me on my channel, Magic in My Food on YouTube.